This video is going to demonstrate how to measure a camshaft. The two measurements that uh, you want to take on a camshaft are run out and lobe lift. We'll do this using a, a dial indicator and then we'll show how it can be done with a micrometer also. So to begin with, we've set up a, a dial indicator so that it's resting on the, the journal. This is just part of a camshaft, but you would always put it on the center journal of the camshaft and then zero the dial indicator and then uh, carefully rotate the camshaft but be careful as you do this not to bump the table you can see that bumping the table can, can change your reading so we make sure we're on zero and we rotate the camshaft we're watching to see how far it moves from zero and while it'll, it'll bounce around a little bit we want to see overall what it, what it does. And it looks like at that point we're two thousandths of an inch away from our zero, so we have roughly two thousandths of an inch of run out. In other words, the camshaft is bowed just a little bit. Now the second measurement is going to be lobe lift, and this can be done really easily here at the same time. We just slide the dial indicator down or slide the camshaft down until we've got the dial indicator on a, uh, a camshaft lobe. You want to start out on the low, low side of the lobe. We'll zero the dial indicator and again rotate the camshaft. We're going to find out how much the lobe lifts off that, z that base circle. One full revolution, two full revolutions, and 47. So that means it's 0.247 inches. Continue to turn it there, and you'll see that it rotates back to zero. But the, the lobe lift is 0.247 inches. You compare that to specification. And then finally, you can do lobe lift also with a, with a uh, micrometer. You do that by measuring the base circle of a lobe. You take that measurement and compare it to the measurement of the top. Turn, turn the lobe and... Uh, Measure it from top to bottom now. And the difference between those two measurements that you just took will end up being the lobe lift. It should be 0.247 again, give you the same, same reading.